All right, what is up guys? So we are currently headed to Oak Hill. Uh, we just got on the road and it is four hours away. So let's get the show on the road. All right, so we are about five minutes away. Had to strap the bike back up real quick. Um, so, we should be there soon. We're missing part of the sign. Looks pretty bueno. You ready, Hannah? Okay. All right, well, just finished a couple of the sight laps. Uh, it is super slick, way more slick than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, went down a couple of the corners. I guess just the main thing right now is just figuring out my throttle control and not falling. So we'll get back out there in a little bit and see how it's shaping up. The track's definitely shaping up a little bit better than when it, when we first came here. Uh, it was super, super wet, but I mean, it's still slick, but not as bad. So I'm starting to get used to it. 
Um, there's not a lot of jumps. It's definitely more corners and stuff, which is fun, and I definitely need to get better in my corners, so maybe this will help me out with other tracks. Um, but it's good. It's deep, and I'm just glad I'm riding. Back home in Houston, it is just crazy wet. It's just been raining nonstop, so drove up here in Dallas to get away from the rain and be able to put in some motos, so it's been good. huge roller I washed out when I landed well I've been doing it I've been doing it but I hit a soft spot like you said and there really I hit really hard all right well uh, you can't see something is definitely not wrong or something is definitely not right um, luckily somebody had ibuprofen and I still have just a lot of adrenaline running through me so I, I can't move my wrist at all. I don't know, I don't think I broke it. I think, I'm, I feel like it's more of a, a ligament thing but it hurts extremely bad so we are headed back home. It's, probably, it's gonna be a painful four hour ride and plan is going straight to the ER so I'll let y'all know how that goes. I will keep you updated. So we just witnessed somebody rear end somebody else. Somebody and somebody rear ended them. Yeah, look at that car. Oh, oh man, their front end was gone. And then we got all this traffic. Ow. I can't even. The hand hurts. <laughs> so the adventure continues. 
All right, so four hours later, it still hurts, and we just made it to the ER. Um, so, about to go in there, get it checked out, and I will let y'all know, I guess, what we find out afterwards. All right, so, I am back from the ER. They put me in a splint. I got x-rays done. Um, nothing, like, I guess, crazy broken. They said they, I might have a small fracture, um, and that's where that big bulge was. Um, I was originally thinking that could have been like a snap ligament or something. It still could be. He said he wants me to go see an orthopedics doctor. Um, so I'm just going to give it a couple days, see if the swelling goes down. It hurts really bad, um, but glad the bike's okay and I'm glad I'm, you know, all in one piece. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the track was cool, it was deep, definitely helped me work on my ruts, um, just it kind of stinks what happened with my wrist and everything. And sorry if I seem tired, I just took some medication and they said I'm not even allowed to drive when I take it so I guess it's pretty strong. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and I'll give y'all an update kind of what's going on in my next video. Oh, and uh, I'm about to go to the Florida Keys soon, so be on the lookout for a cool video with that. Remember guys, it is all about